Do you remember Brexit means Brexit? We're going to make a success of it and the promise of an EU trade deal that would be the easiest in human history. Well, isn't two years an exceptionally long time in politics? There is now parliamentary paralysis and the Conservative Party has de descended into bitter infighting, unable to agree a way forward. My country has been left ungoverned by the ungovernable. Chequers is dead, but neither is there enough support for alternative versions of Brexit being driven by a Brexit syndicate of far-right think tanks. Now the language has also become mafiosi, with talking of a killing zone and hot knives in the Prime Minister's chest. This highly dangerous talk must be stopped right now. It's now clear that the only way out of this deadlock is to hand the process back to the people. Last Saturday I joined 700,000 others on the streets of London, marching in support of the people's vote, demanding a choice between this Brexit shambles and staying in the EU. This was the second largest demonstration in British history. I was delighted that it was young people who led this march and who spoke so passionately about our place in the European Union. They have a right to all the freedoms and opportunities that I've enjoyed during my life. The movement looks unstoppable. British MPs are now being bombarded with letters and emails from their constituents demanding a people's vote, and there is growing cross-party support for the idea. It's time for Parliament to let the people decide the best way forward for our country.